listening to Nasty Knuckles, the Hockey Outlaws podcast, with your hosts, Terry Nasty Sotomayor and former Philadelphia Flyer enforcer, Riley Cote, as they go behind the scenes with your favorite NHL players. This week's guest, the man, the myth, the legend, and one hell of a concrete man, Frank the Animal by Lois. Time to face off. All right, welcome back to another episode of Nasty Knuckles. What's happening, Nasty? Oh, man, what's up, Rigorelia? What are you saying, buddy? Not much, man. Just uh, hanging out with the girls this morning and uh, trying <laughs> to keep my sanity and bang out some work. But uh, yep. I hear you, ha- man. happy to happy to release episode 36 here with the with the Anna Mule. Oh, the Anna Mule. Oh, what, a be- what a beauty he is. Oh, my <laughs> God. Ladies and gentlemen, hide the kids when you're listening to this yeah. one. If you don't <laughs> parental parental yeah. advisory warning on this bad boy. Yeah, yeah. He's, uh, he's, he lets the uh, F-bombs go like they're uh, just a normal word. Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, but he's, he's a beauty. Great guy. Uh, yeah, it was a lot of should fun. Should enjoy this one. I don't think we've laughed that hard in a while. Yeah, you're right. I was in tears, man. I couldn't stop. Great. Couldn't stop grinning. Oh, man. Um, how about our boy Carter Hart? Congrats, buddy. Yeah. Yeah. Glad nice to see, to see that was coming, uh, yep. obviously. But uh, nice to see it being officially released and three year, three more years in orange and black and yep. big bounce back year, as we all expect. Yeah. So oh, yeah. Looking oh, yeah. forward to seeing him he, around. And we got to get him on the pod. And yep. we still have that. Uh, the mask, the, the, the Carter yep. Hart mask. We got to we got to rock out here for for charity. So yeah, man, yeah, all I the can't pieces wait. are coming together. He's pumped. He's pumped about it. He's ready, man. He's uh, he's focused. He's dialed in, boys. Dialed in. Beauty. Excited Beauty. about all the moves. Um, you see, you know, you hate to see uh, like we talked before. You hate to see uh, friends and teammates go, but <clears throat> some guys needed a change, like yep. we talked about before, and. Uh, all the boys that I've talked to seem pretty fired up, man. They're ready to get it going. So yeah, I like the way um, things are shaping up. Yep. So congrats, Time will tell. congrats, Hartsy. Yeah. You little bugger, you. Good deal. <laughs> nice deal for the Flyers. Nice deal for him. And yep. A little bridge deal. And then uh, once he uh, raises that silver ten cup, you got to be paying him a lot more, boys. <laughs> yeah. Right. No kidding. Um, uh, but don't want to jinx anything. But uh, seriously, congrats, Carter. Love you, brother. Um, yeah. Buddy, Nasty Knuckles, first annual ball hockey tournament. Yeah. Coming up. I'm jacked up. One Nas- month from now. Na- National Ball Hockey League. We've partnered with them, man. These guys are awesome. It's going to be a day, Riles. Gonna be oh, a day. I know. Yeah. Got uh, 12 teams already registered. Again, opportunity to register as an individual or as a team. Great day, some other uh, shenanigans and uh, and fun happening around the rinks of Marlton there. So you know, bring yeah. your bring your kids. We'll have some fun for them. And uh, obviously, if you're a hockey enthusiast, there'll be plenty of uh, activations and uh, and sponsors to to showcase uh, th- their goods. So looking yeah. forward to to all that. It should be a great day. Yeah, if there's uh, any any of you guys out there, any fans uh, that have a business that you want to maybe bring over, contact us, you know, uh, set up shop. Uh, we can talk about that. Yeah. Um, it's going to be a big day. Um, lots of stuff, lots of stuff. We still have to, um, that we're signing off on, uh, but hopefully, um, with music, food, stuff like that and and other things we have, uh, it's going to be an awesome day, man. Awesome. Yeah. Looking forward to that. And, the weather will have cooled down a little bit. It won't be so smoking yeah. hot, and uh, it'll be a uh, be perfect, uh, a perfect opportunity to get back in the community, play a little hockey. Yeah, have some fun as always. You gotta have yeah. fun. Our team, the Nasty Knuckle team, we are building is, it out. It's getting stronger. Whew, I'm working, signing deals here, Riggs. <laughs> uh, so it's gonna be fun. These these guys are legit, though, man. It's real. It's fun. It's going to be fun. Watch uh, if you ever go on their uh, their sites and, and watch some of these guys, man. Yeah, they're no joke. It's, they can move. Yeah, you ain't kidding. Their hands. 
I got it. I got to bring my A game. Gotta, bring my Toby. Oh, you better bring the Toby. Bring it. Um, yeah. So everybody, please get online and check it out and come join us that day. It's going to be fun, man. Get your teams together. Yep. Let's do it. And Riles still just jacked up about fans and Philly, man. Cannot yeah, wait. Yeah, man. I can't wait. Yeah. Be involved in uh, something so organized around like-minded Philly fans. Uh, yep. Some interesting road trips. Uh, I, I think the one got uh, switched from uh, the Vegas to the Vegas, the Vegas game to the uh, Arizona game, which yep. is I think a day later or two days later. Um, but nonetheless, uh, an awesome opportunity. Obviously, doing the the Nashville one in March as well, and probably tacking on a few more here. So uh, a great yeah, partnership. They do an amazing job, essentially a Philly centric, all sports a travel agency, yeah. you know, soup to nuts. They, they do it all. Um, an amazing experience. So I'm really looking forward to, to participating because I I've seen oh, yeah. what they're doing and what they've done and you know, how many people have been involved in the groups that they put together. And um, it, it should be awesome. And we'll be, uh, you know, obviously hijacking some time and pumping out some content while we're out there. So it'll be yeah. a, a lot of fun all around. Yeah, it's got to be great. I, I'm I'm so excited for it, especially <clears throat> the new look of the team, and I think it's it's gonna be, everything's gonna be great. So yeah, a lot I'm of good energy up. around it. Yeah, man, I, I I'm I'm super pumped, man. I can't wait. A lot of fun. Yeah, well, I think it's time, buddy. Oh, the animal. Prepare yourselves. <laughs> <laughs> Take a seat. <laughs> Earmuffs, yeah. Earmuffs on the kids, kids around. You might want to keep them out all, of the room. All the all the Settlemeyer skate sharpening clients. I know I got a lot of young kids, so that listen to the show. So let's uh let's let's put some earmuffs on. Maybe <laughs> I mean, this might be one. Yeah, you, uh, it's all a good fun, but it's just Frankie. It's Frankie, it's Frankie man. It's raw as he gets. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> he's a beauty. He's yeah. a beauty. All right, let's let it rock. All right. Welcome back to another episode of Nasty Knuckles. I'm Riley Cote. And I'm Derek Settlemeyer. And this week, we've been asked and asked and asked for this gentleman to join the show. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the show, the animal, Frankie Bialoas. Francois, what's up, brother? What's up, Nast? My man. Hey, Frankie. Uh, All right, man. Uh, what's up, Riles? How are you, buddy? Good man, good to see you. Yeah, you too. You two Winnipeg dudes. No, you're not number. used to this heat, are you? <laughs> Either one of you. Uh, you School of hard knocks. Yeah, the peg. Got... <laughs> so bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. How you doing, brother? What's going on? Oh, uh, just busy cooking. You know, outside frying like a chicken. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Uh, it's tough, man. It's hot. And I don't oh, like yeah. hot. You know, I don't like the sweat, Dass. I know, I know, man. Uh, what, what what are you up to? Uh, tell tell us about uh, you, you know your company, man. I've I've I can w tell you I've witnessed it firsthand. This guy is unbelievable. Uh, you kind of can do everything, but uh, if you want to tell tell everybody what you're up to, uh, uh, your most, mo mostly now, just like we're trying to stick to the concrete. You know, what I mean, it's taken off so much. You know, but thanks to the people in the area, you know, and everybody that I know, and you know, fortunately. You know, like this year has been the busiest year ever. So it's, you know, and, and it's all referrals and, you know, it's, it's a blessing to be in this city and people are great, you know, if the hockey stuff helps, but again, we take pride in the business. So we're always trying to do the best that we can, and, you know, and like I said, we're trying to stick to the concrete. I mean, but we're doing, you know, we do everything additions, you know, whatever you need, you know, I got, yeah, I get sure. a honey do list from you all the time. Yeah, well, yeah, he does. It, this, this guy's here a lot. I'm starting to wonder, I don't see sometimes what's get really getting done, but it's okay. It's all good. Uh, no, but he ain't Frank, you, you know, you're, your business is unbelievable. I, I know so many people, like you said, referrals, but you wouldn't get referrals if you weren't doing a hell of a job. And, and yeah. you, cer you certainly do. You did the old sure. uh, stamp concrete in my pad there. Back oh, yeah, that, was one of, that, was a, that was the early one. Yeah. Oh, God, yeah, that's right. Yeah, man. Yeah. That's now it does it. yeah, it's escalated. It's out of control now. It's, you know, but it, it's, I like it. You know what I mean? You get in, you get out. It keeps you busy. It keeps you, keeps you honest. You know what I mean? You've, yeah. 
the men hands, men head. You know, you got to stick with what does you well. <laughs> Stay in your lane, Frankie. Uh, that's it. One way. That's it. No finesse whatsoever. Yeah, right. Fuck that carpentry and all that shit, man. <laughs> that's it. Oh man. So what's so what's uh what's what's been going on in the uh, in the hockey world? I haven't seen you at any alumni events in the last little while. Would you even uh, yeah, I too never busy for him or what? I don't oh, know what the fuck. I gotta go beat, beat you up. Marcy, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> go to yeah, yeah, Archie's door and say what's up. Yeah, I think tell Marshy I'm gonna punch him in the mouth next time I see him. <laughs> <laughs> you definitely won't get invited over <laughs> if <laughs> if he knows you're gonna punch him. Uh, I didn't even know that there was that guy really hasn't been in touch. You know what I mean? So I, I didn't know what there was going on. We got one this weekend. I think Riley's playing in it. I'm playing. Yeah. I don't even know if I can fucking skate anymore, but I'll bring it up. Worst case scenario, you got to just beat someone up and get, you know. <laughs> You can get to the You're red lucky line I'm not playing the blaster again. from the red line there, Frankie. You're oh, there. yeah. That's You're my high favorite. Heat. The high heat, man. Have you put tape, are you putting tape on your blade yet? Oh, hell no. <laughs> Uh, you don't need that shit. That's Listen, overrated. Nah, it's, hey, it's for the let birds. me tell you this. Last week, uh, well, two weeks ago now, we uh, roused on my men's league team, Francois, and yeah. he breaks his stick that he's been using for about 10 years. This thing, I don't know how it lasts. Since I long, retired. But, yeah. yeah. Uh, anyway, so there's this company that has a stick and you don't put tape on it. And I hand him the thing and he turns, he goes, wait, you think I'm Frankie? He's like, there's no tape on this thing. I said, that actually has grip on it, though. You, you'll be fine. And then he loved it. He actually loved the stick. Oh, yeah. Cool. Oh, I no remember, kidding. Later. Frankie, really? I, remember, I remember when you <laughs> did that back in the day. That you just kind of, like, rubbed the, the Gordy Howe tape on it. Um, if people don't know what Gordy Howe, we, we call it Gordy Howe, but it's called friction tape, and it, it's, like, real sticky. Frankie's like, I don't feel like taping it. <laughs> I don't feel I'm just going to go. And guys like, Frank, put tape on your stick. Nope. Uh, oh, yeah. Dude, not I'm doing was- it. I'll never forget it. I was pissed. I was like, you know what? What the fuck do I need this? It's like a waste of time. I spent 10 minutes taping my fucking stick. All I'm going to do is break it over someone's head or throw it at someone and start a fight. You know? like, I was like, I'm not fucking doing this no more. That was it. I taping, never taped it after. I was actually, did I score a goal? Like, yeah. Two more- I think yeah. that's the first time I ever scored two goals. So that like put the fucking <laughs> exclamation point on it. I was like, I'm done with that shit. That's I should have never, I should have never put tape on my bum. I know. I would have been, I would have been like a, you know, hundred goals for <laughs> my ass. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. I think I did though. I'm, I either got one or two. Yeah. That, I don't remember, I think, but I think you're right, man. Yeah. But something just possessed me. I was like, I'm, I'm done. I'm not, this is too time consuming. It's fucking, it was yeah. the old the old branches blades. Oh, oh yeah. branches, yeah. Branches, wow, yeah. that's going that, way that's back. That's going eh? back, man. Going back. Uh, uh, aluminum. They weighed fuck ten pounds oh, instead of. <laughs> I remember the first time it was our, like Riley. You know, think talking about your stick. I remember the first time I picked up one of them. I'm like, oh, what is this thing? You know, you I was like, <laughs> yeah, right. you that? Dude, I couldn't even skate. I was like, God damn, what the <laughs> fuck is going on? All right, give me back my wood stick, man. <laughs> oh, I know. There's a big difference. Yeah, yeah I think yeah, you man. gave me one. Yeah, you gave me one when I was playing with the alumni. I was like, can't you get me my branches? These things. Yeah, <laughs> right. yeah, right. He's like, what is this thing? It has no weight to it. Yeah, they don't make oh, them no more. That's no. ancient. Oh, God. You just got to tape the shaft up and down if you want to get some weight to it. Uh, I got to put some barbells on it or something. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, hey, Frankie, I was looking. Uh, I was looking up some stats before we hopped on here on, on Hockey DB, and it's usually pretty good with like guys' track records. It doesn't show anywhere that you'd play junior hockey. It just said right from right from pro. <laughs> do you do you play anywhere in junior or what? Yeah, yeah, I played. I played. I mean, I, I played in Astavan, like in the SJ. Oh, the SJ. So, okay. Yeah, and then in and in Winnipeg. You know what I mean? I was in. Yeah, I went to Estevan really early. I was young. And then I, I played there for a year. Then I was getting in trouble and being an asshole like I always am. You know what I mean? And then I was like, you know what, man? I'm not going there for like 30 bucks a you know, week, week or whatever the fuck it was. I'll stay here and be a criminal and make money and, you know, play in Manitoba Junior League. You know what I mean? So it was like, <laughs> yeah. So it was funny. I mean, I was, you know, always doing stupid shit. And it was it was comical. But, well, you know. What, yeah. what team would what, what did they have in Winnipeg? Like junior? Uh, like, yeah, junior. junior. Yeah, same. It was the same as like the SJHL, Manitoba yep. Junior Hockey League. Oh, yeah. okay, okay. Yeah, like, you know, it wasn't the dub. It was like a step under. You know, basically SJHL. It's junior A. SHL, 
What's that? Junior A. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Okay. That's, so I played for Kil- Riley knows Kildona North Star. So sure. Yeah. 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 So yeah. Did you, uh, Frankie, when you first, this is something I actually don't know. I feel like I've known mm. you for so long. We've been friends for so long. I know yeah. so much about you, but did, did you go into junior hockey fighting? Oh yeah. I mean, I used to fight all that. Yeah. It was, that's all I wanted to do. I didn't want to play. I had like temp, you know, some kind of anger management thing going on. You know? <laughs> it was like stress relief. I was like, yeah. You know, you express yourself. Yeah. Like you can go beat someone up and you ain't going to jail. It was like yeah, five, five minutes. Yeah, like, yeah. Your, yeah. Frankie, you say that, but knowing you the way we do, you're mm-hmm. the, you have the biggest heart in the world. So it's funny you say that. I just wanted to kill people because like, you're the guy that'll stop, see someone on the side of the road and help them. Like, oh yeah, you're, no, you're that no, guy. That's so it's yeah. funny that you say that, but yeah. the people that don't know you, it's like, right. you know, you have a heart as big as a room. Yeah, but, I um, do anything for anybody. I give you the shirt off my back, but then yeah. when you when you rip it and shove it in my face, and you got, <laughs> then you got some problems. <laughs> and you got some serious problems. I I remember uh, Frankie when we started the Phantoms when when I met you in '96. Um, yeah, <clears throat> Flyers, uh, Mr. Schneider put a team in with the American league and we played in the spectrum. Everybody knows. And, uh, I didn't know of you yet. I had been in, a, in the NHL. I was an assistant for three years, my first three years in hockey. So I right. didn't know a whole lot about the American league. I knew we, cause in Florida, we had players in the eye in the international league in Cincinnati right. play for the cyclones. And then we had in Philadelphia, our team was in Hershey. That's about as much as I knew. Right. So I'll never forget. Uh, Billy, they named Billy the coach. And then I meet Chris Felix, uh, our, our good friend, um, oh, yeah. late, the late cat, El Gato, as he used to call himself, <laughs> beautiful, beautiful man. Um, he, uh, I remember him and I are getting to know each other and he's like, dude, we're going to be like sick. Our, Cause he had been in the American league. He'd been a medical right. guy, uh, yeah. in the Rangers organization. He goes, dude, we're going to be so tough. He's like, you got to see this guy. We got Frank, the animal by Lois. And I'm like, Frank the animal I'm like what he goes dude this guy's insane where do you see him you know and I'm like so I meet Frankie I'll never forget we're downstairs in the lobby and I met you and Mac at the same time Dave uh, were, we, were we drunk or at the bar no you weren't <laughs> drunk yet it was in the Not morning okay. you weren't drunk yet but I swear to God uh Riles I I see Frankie come in I don't know who he is because you know 80 guys used to come to camp right I mean, yeah. so many people so Frankie and Mac are there and I introduced myself to him and we start talking and I'm like, okay, this is Frankie. I felt like I knew him my whole life after a 10 minute conversation, just like we just were, Hey, we hit it off and Mac too, Dave McIsaac the same way. But you know, he was just like, oh, I'm going to fucking kill somebody, <laughs> you know, like fight. Like he was like, I just can't wait to get started. I'm oh gonna, yeah. I'm going to fuck some people up, you know? And I'm <laughs> like, Okay, this guy's my favorite player already. You know, like, uh, yeah. well, how, oh, how can he not be? He's got the, the animal. The animal. I mean, yeah, he's already like, favorite. Just like, <laughs> he's oh, already geez, favorite player. I, I just couldn't wait, and 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 we and you know, Mr. Snyder allowed. Uh, it was John Blackwell the first year actually before Homer had come back uh, right. to the Flyers. He put together a really good team and a lo- and a lot of toughness. I mean, you remember we had Jason Bowen, you, oh, yeah. the yeah. Colonel. The Colonel, yeah. remember the oh, Colonel Brian Kern <laughs> Riles? Yeah. This guy's warm up routine was better oh. than our buddy Gillies. Watch oh, yeah. him. Oh, wow. He Colonel, used to get a, his hands impressive. going. We're oh. warming up in Hershey in preseason Riles. He's doing his little skate thing. His glove <laughs> comes off and goes over the glass into no the stands. Way. Wow, that's, oh, I have never momentum. seen anything like this Jordan in my life. skating strokes and the, like, oh, oh my God, it's like someone tied a rubber fucking band around him or a street jacket. It was <laughs> unbelievable. <laughs> but it was, he was a great guy though. And he had oh, played, dude. you know, in NHL, like he, he was yeah. been around, like he was a yeah. great guy. Um, neither one of those guys really stuck around. And we had, um, oh gosh, I'm trying to think of the Horshek, uh, t- Tony Horshek. Yeah, we yeah. had him as well, dude. He was a big man, tough guy, yeah, but man. we didn't really need it because you know we had the animal and, and uh, you know, other guys as well. But but Frankie was the heavyweight champ of the league for sure. Um, oh, yeah, tons of tons of memories. Uh, oh, dude, Frankie, obviously, so much fun. <laughs> they got to return that shit. shit. <laughs> yeah, right. Speaking of the uh, the nickname the animal, what is the storyline behind it? Nasty was giving me a little bit of a one on one. Your first, your pro in Roanoke. Yeah. 
<laughs> you have some substance behind ah, it? dude there's funny as shit like, i was like take a, I, <laughs> I went to roanoke and i was like just like huge man i was like all juiced up you know what i mean like no. just, i was it was terrible it was real bad and i can fucking skate i was like you know so i get off the bus and the whole fucking team's like looking at me and i'm like what are you fucking looking at you know like, <laughs> and they're like oh and no one would say that they're scared like mike james was our goalie me and him are real fu- good buddies you know he's funny as shit but so they put me to live with him and he tells roy Somers like no fucking way that i'm living with that guy you know what i mean we're like best <laughs> friends now but you know it was, it was like you know long story short we get out I, i'm like i can't fucking skate man my legs were seizing up like you know they were so big i was like <laughs> I'm like, fuck this, you know, I'm like, and he's like, well, you got to give it an effort. Just go out there. So I skate out to center ice and I line up. So we were, I think we were playing like, um, what the fuck was it? Wheeling, West Virginia or something like that. So I line yeah, up, and, you know, and then, you know <laughs> slap shot league. They got a hundred fighters. And the guy <laughs> yeah. lines up beside me and he's like looking at me, doesn't know how to take it. You know what I mean? I'm like, what are you looking at? And he's like, nothing. And I'm like, so I fucking punched him. You know what I mean? And I'm like, all right. <laughs> he goes down. He's bleeding all over the place. And I'm like, what the fuck is this? You know, and so the ref gives me, doesn't even get up. And I'm like, all right. So I skate to the penalty box. I'm sitting in there. Coach is shaking his head. And the, the other team's coach looks over and like, where in the fuck did you get that? <laughs> and, <I'm> just, uh, <laughs> and they're just laughing. Roy's cracked. Roy was a great guy. He was funny as shit. Yeah. So he's laughing. I get out of the box. I come skating back across the ice, make my way back to the bench. And I'm like, I'm done, man. I'm not skating no more. Fuck this shit. And he's like, you got to try. You got to get in shape. You know what I mean? Like, I'm like, okay. So I go cruising out there. I skate around. My legs start hurting. I'm like, I just stop, hey. Eh? And I'm like, looking around. The guy skates by me. I tomahawk him. You know what I mean? And like, and then he's like, <laughs> he drops his gloves. And I punched him. I hit him right in the front of the helmet. His helmet fell off his head like two pieces. And I'm like, and I hurt my hand. I was like, fuck. And then he dives down, tries to turtle. I pick him up by the back of the shirt. And I got him up in there and I'm fucking hitting him. You know, like typical Frankie shit. Yeah. He's like half dead. So I throw him on the ground. <laughs> and uh, I skate back to the box. And Roy's like, are you going to try and play? I'm like, no. Every time you put me on ice, I'm just going to fuck someone up. <laughs> and he's like. Okay, so I go out there again, and now I'm actually, okay, I'm going to try and play a little bit. So I get the fuck, and I'm skating. And I'm like, again, you know, I'm out of gas. I'm like, uh, <laughs> like I gas. The, yeah, I'm out of gas. I'm <laughs> like, uh, so I go stand against the boards and hold the puck, and some idiot decides to run me, bounces right off of me. Hey, I look at him, turn around, grab him, <laughs> one punch, and knock him out cold. And at that point, this fucking hillbilly this is big chuck. They had, they had a fishing pole with uh, – Kentucky fried chicken bucket and they're flinging it over the boards and really get in. I'm laughing. And he's like, this kid's a fucking animal. <laughs> uh, I, I started, man. And I went up, I went up to the, they had a bar. So I got tossed out of the game. I went up to the bar and the, whole, the owner was like Henry Brabham, just total, you know, like hillbilly oil tycoon, like loaded, loaded. Yeah. Carries a big 45. He's crazy. You know, there were oh, problems geez. in the bar. He pulled the gun out, put it to people's head. Don't make me kill you, son. Oh, yeah, it was crazy. Oh. It, was funny. it was nuts, man. I, I seen some shit in Roanoke, man. That was funny. <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you a story about going to one guy's house. I was like, what the fuck? And that's me saying that. I was like, yeah, right. Yeah, right. I was going to say, for you to say that, it, like, uh, we've been it, in a couple it, situations together, and for you to uh, say that. Dude, uh, I'm telling you. So anyways, that's so Henry gets up there and he's loving it. And he's like, all right, hey, son, your name, your name's Animal. That's it. <laughs> that's it. Okay, whatever. <laughs> so three so, fighting majors in that game? That's that's Price. Oh, one dude, punch I, I don't one. even, like I said, I, I might have skated from one end to the other one time if you had it all three <laughs> <years together. laughs> Productive, productive yeah. game. You know, it's good, needless to say, in practice, you have to, you know, try and get going. But, like, I basically got off the bus and played that night. You know what I mean? So, yeah. I skated in yeah. a year, and I was like, oh, yeah, fuck. How did you, now, okay, so why did you have a year off from, from playing hockey? If You're Being bad. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. I spent the time at a vacation resort. Okay. All right. That's cool. <laughs> My dad put it. The coach, Roy was, Roy was trying to get me to come out there for, like, the whole season because I played against him in Saskatchewan. Yeah. So uh, he, he was a coach in um, Minot and I played Ness, you know, in a uh, thing. So he was looking for me and he found me, he kept calling my dad, you know, my dad, you met him. Right yep, yep. Jimmy. And he's like, Hey, where's Frank? He's like, Oh, he's on vacation. <laughs> How long is he on fucking vacation for? He's like, have him call me. Well, he'll call you when he gets out. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, oh my god yeah so, so when i 
I got out, I got put on a fucking Greyhound bus in, in uh, I think, North Dakota somewhere. My grandpa drove me across the border, and that was like sayonara. You know what I mean? The yeah. off of your life. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Well, um, Frank, like <clears throat> I was telling Riley, I mean, he, he obviously knows you, but um, talk a little bit about like uh, yeah. those younger, like your your years, like in there, I guess, 1920 when you became a pro, because you've done a lot. Like you did a lot of stuff. Um, <laughs> you know uh, what I mean? Like I said, yeah. if you talk to a guy, what a story, like who's done everything. Like, right. <laughs> you want to like expand on? Oh yeah, it? dude. I I I got a guy who's been writing a book for like two years. But I mean, like, fuck. I used to play like in junior in Winnipeg. Like I told you, I was an ass man. I went to Winnipeg. Well, I was dating a girl. Obviously, she was a stripper. We know my whole background. You know, me. Yeah. You know, basically, fucking dumb. You know, but it's whatever. <laughs> Uh, you marry a strip. You're not that's the only. Idea. You're not the only person. Oh, I know. Yeah, that's it. Oh, I did it a few times. Actually, my favorite <laughs> quote in the world is from you, nasty. You broke the fuck out of prison. You ran around to the front door and went right back in. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'll I'll never never I said, that. You get out of. You get. Yeah. You get out of prison and you break back in. What the oh, hell? Oh, dude, that? that's my favorite, man. Uh, but, but anyway, yeah, like, sorry. Oh, no, it's okay. So playing, playing junior, like I said, I, you know, you're playing in Esteban. I did the year there. I mean, you know, I never went to school. I was like always in the hot tub, banging older girls, you know, total mess, you know, 14 years old, sleeping in the jacuzzi, screwing all night. Their billets would be like, are you going to school today? No. I was like, okay. <laughs> you couldn't make me do anything. You know what I mean? I was like, no. Nah. Coach was like, you good. I had Jerry James. So he's like, you go, he goes, you got to go to school, son. No, I don't. Okay. <laughs> okay. uh, you know after after a year and all the stupidity got my head shaved didn't like that too much you know stupid shit you know by the vets you know your typical hazing whatever and uh, i just decided fuck it i'm gonna go back to winnipeg play there you know and then i got into shit you know met some you know met the girl my you know first one stripped her well she's like why you work so hard man i'm like what do you mean she's like well you can go dance and make tons of money you know what i mean so that was like the downfall of frank you know what i mean so I was well like, i mean just so we know before you finish what you're getting ready to say <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen welcome to the stage max a million yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh dude my brother sends people pictures it's like embarrassing man I don't like <laughs> Just a phase, Frankie. Just a phase, man. Just a phase you went through. (laughs) You outgrew it. Hey, but I'll tell you what, we this is a this is a family oriented show, so we won't get into it. But some of the stories I wish we could tell that he told me about that, it's crazy. Uh, Riggs. I mean crazy. I can imagine. Like but the toughest stripper I ever seen. Tap in yeah, toughest stripper too. (laughs) Tap in soup. Yeah. Put it that but way. I mean, like, honestly, we, you know, you're playing a hockey game and I go to play, play the game. And it was like, my first show was at like eight o'clock. So, you know, like, we, like we played Fort Gary blues, which was our rivalry. And I'd be skating around swearing at everybody in, uh, you know, in warm up. Like, like, oh, Frankie's got shows tonight. So I'd have like, <laughs> Try get kicked out. As as I could. oh yeah, get the <laughs> fuck out right to the club. So I'd be in my gear, have a shower, just fucking gear down right there and a naked, you know, on the stage. I was done, man. You know what I mean? That, is, that is impressive. Uh, it was, it was good. Sometimes I'd show, you know, someone would catch me with once. I'd have a black eye or a cut. I'm like doing a strip <laughs> show with fucking bleeding. You know what I mean? I'd be like, <laughs> who cares, man? I think. Um, with time management though, right? I mean, oh, you're juggling yeah, the yeah. hockey they, team. You just like, uh, dude. three and fights and you're out first. Yeah, and the best Honestly. part was is all the guys knew they'd all come to the club after, you know, the game would be over. And they'd all be like, where are you working, man? We got to go pick up some chicks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, that's what you basically said. You said it was just ridiculous. Yeah. They just threw yeah. themselves at you. Dude, it was so, it's so bad. I mean, you know, it's it's you, you think the hockey world and sports and stuff, there's, you know, women around. That's just a whole different breed, man. Yeah. Like, <laughs> Yeah, that's in the uh, peg, though, man. Yeah, I don't know. I don't that, know what's yeah, going that on. Was everywhere. That was Toronto. I traveled. Man. Oh, oh, was, oh, 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 oh Maximilian travels. Oh, yeah, yeah. Awesome. He's on tour, oh, man. Oh, on that's tour. great. Um, and uh, I was kind of telling Riles about. I guess I think you were telling me you drove a cab for a job too. Oh right? yeah, yeah. Like, my dad, 
Yeah, yeah, my dad had a taxi business, you know what I mean? So it was great money. I mean, like, yeah. honestly, you know, because you're not paying. Usually you got to rent to work there and stuff like that. You pay the owner, you know what I mean? But yeah. my dad was like, yeah, hey, yeah, go drive cab. It was fun, man. You fight a lot, you know. I, yeah. I fight every day. I used to drive taxi. I think I was like playing a hockey game. You just get fights easy, man. They get in your car all hammered up. and You like have to <laughs> get out of them or they don't want to pay. And it was fun, man. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's fun. You got the green light again to just pound. Yeah. I'll tell you this one time I'm driving cab and I'm it's like maybe three o'clock in the morning and I'm, I'm like down on Sherbrooke you know in that in the hood there Riles oh right? yeah yeah like really bad and this guy comes out of one night it was like I, I can't remember what bar it was so he gets in the fucking cab he's got to be like seven feet tall man good fucking 350 400 pounds so he gets in the car his head's turned sideways because he can't fit in the car and it's, it's one side of his body's touching the door. The other side's touching me. And I'm like, holy fuck, we had a size of this big motherfucker. <laughs> and I'm like, I hope he behaves. You know what I mean? It's like, hope he boy. behaves. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, oh, my God. So he goes, he, he says, pull in here. Like we go. It's like a $7 fare. You know what I mean? And he fucking pulls in this. He goes, pull in the alley. And I'm like, oh, fuck, here we go, man. <laughs> You know, and I, he's like, I'm not paying. And I'm like, yeah, well, hey, seven bucks, man. It's like, you yeah, have it. <laughs> you know, like, so then he's like, so he gets out of the car. And he's like, fuck you. He's kind of losing it. And he walks around to the front. It's my old man's cab. Eh? And he takes his fist like Donkey Kong and whacks the hood. And I'm like, oh, now you got to fucking piss me off. Eh? So I get out, I open the door. I'm like, what's your fucking problem? And he comes walking over, dude. I grab my dad's mace. I sprayed this motherfucker in the face and I beat it. I left him for dead. I kicked the living shit out of him. I was kicking him in the face and I'm like, oh, fuck, I think I killed him. So it's like three in the morning, minus 40 outside. And I'm like, oh, fuck it. I leave him. I call my old man. He's like, I said, dad, I fucking think I killed this fucker. He's like, were you sure? And I'm like, yeah, he goes, where? And I'm like, ah, dude, I don't know. I, I, he goes, okay, come and get me. So if I could drive from fucking Sherbrooke all the way out to pass the perimeter, like West St. Paul, which is like a good 35, 40 minutes. I grab my dad, we drive back. And here, like 40 minutes later, minus 40, there's some people in alley trying to pick this fucking Godzilla up. You know, he's bleeding <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> and my dad's like, oh, he's alive. Let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Oh, uh, maybe in a coma but he oh alive. my god oh, yeah, dude. Oh, they were dragging him out there was like four people like you need a crane to pick this motherfucker up man <laughs> <laughs> so <clears throat> when you were driving a cab you told me this one story um oh. he, were you driving a cab when you came out and you saw a guy kind of manhandling a woman yeah and you went over and said hey buddy like What's oh, that was, her? yeah. Well, that was, I know which one you're talking. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. I know what you're talking that about. That wasn't a cab. That wasn't a cab. Uh, no, that was when I, but that was when the, how the, like, when I told you the demise kind of fell apart. When okay. I, was like, uh, okay. I came home from, I came home from Estevandi. So I, I stole some, I stole my mom's car. I was, I was supposed to be driving in a license. I got pulled over, got all these fucking tickets. And I was like, you know, you know, and you met my mom. Yes, I'm like, yeah. oh, she's going to fucking hang me by my balls, man. <laughs> yeah. I'm, so I'm sitting at home and I'm like, how the fuck am I going to get this money? It's like 600 bucks. And back then I was like, you know what I mean? Now it's yeah. like, whatever. But so I get a phone call and the guy's like, Hey, you know, like, uh, I'm like, all right. <laughs> so he's like, yeah, come if we beat, you know, I'll give you all this money. I never believed it. I'll give you this coin. If you go beat this guy up. So I'm like, all right. I said, don't fuck around. It's a lot of money. You know, I need it. You know what I mean? Yeah. So he picked me up, drives me to the mall, points to this guy. He says, I go up. I'm like, are you so-and-so? He's like, yeah. So I just grab him, start beating the fuck out of him. You know what I mean? <laughs> Everyone's screaming. And I'm like, so all security comes. He's laying there. I hit him in the head a couple of times with chairs. You know, tried to kill him, but it didn't work. <laughs> and I was like, all right, fuck it. So I run out of the mall and I get in the car and I'm like, hey, give me my five fucking grand, man. You know what I mean? And the guy's yeah. like, yeah, no problem, man. You let me go. <laughs> And he's like, I, I want you to work for me. I'm like 15 now or something, you know, six somewhere there, 16 close. And he fuck, he's like, I said, well, what are you going to pay me? So like, I'll give you like five grand a week. I'm like, oh, hired, man. Yeah, right. <laughs> I don't know yeah, what I'm doing, but. Out, yeah, well, I figured out what I was doing. It wasn't too good. No. <laughs> <laughs> wow. But I kind of stuck with it. I like the money. So, yeah. Now, was that protecting young ladies? Yeah. Is yeah, that, yeah. that's what, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty that's, much. Yeah. yeah, that's what I, yeah. Okay. That's cool. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. That's, yeah. I, I, 
I had the story a little mixed. I couldn't remember because no, it no, it had one million because yeah, I was working with my dad, and then like yeah, you know, like I said, that shit came in, and it was like again, it's just more money and more stupid shit, and you know, and then and then in the long run, I ended up beating the fuck out of the kid that was paying me the money because he was, you know, being mean to the girls. He beat them yeah. up, and I, I that's what that's that what you shit. told me. Yeah, yeah, that's and then he was me. done. I I killed him, put him in the hospital. The girls phoned the police on him, and it was just a whole shit show in a race. So. You know, life, life is life, man. You do stupid shit, but you know what? I've done the stupidest, but I don't regret any of it because it made me who I am. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> well, you're, you're, uh, you're very successful. Um, so kids don't go to school. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. No, I'm kidding, school. but <clears throat> go to school, but no, go but seriously, school. Frankie, you don't want to be like me. <laughs> no, this is all before you turn pro too, right? Yeah, it's oh, just all, yeah. Dude, yeah. Leading I up mean, to you're, pro you're hockey, very, man. You're primed. You're ready to rock. I always yeah. tell everyone that <clears throat> that ask if they haven't heard from you or seen you, and I'm just like, he's so successful, but you work your ass off. I'm yeah, not you're a hustler, smoke, man. dude. You work your balls off. Uh, <laughs> you work, you work till it's dark. I can't believe we got you this early. I was shocked when he said you were gonna uh, was, come on guy, early. Nah, we we got done. We poured a whole big driveway today. It was it worked out good, but it, it's cooking, man. It's like yeah. You know, and they're good guys. Like I said, when they're when they're hot, like they, these guys wear jeans to work, and I'm like, you're out of your mind. I'm gearing down. I'm like, I, I'm ready to put my oh. fucking thong back on. Let's yeah, I was gonna go. say <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> the banana hammock. The banana. You throwing that out there for? for uh, the dude, they're like, can you put some fucking clothes on? I'm like, no, <laughs> just shut up. <laughs> um, Frankie, jumping around here. So your first year back when you when you came. Well, actually, let me ask you this. Yeah. Uh, before you came, you started mm -hmm. in, uh, you, you were playing in obviously in the East coast. Was it called the East coast then? Yeah. Was East, coast it, East coast league. Yeah. Uh, yep. and then you made it up to, uh, St. John's with the yep. Maple Leafs and yep. you eventually got called up right. where you fought two of the toughest SOBs to fight in the NHL, Tony yeah. twist and, uh, um, Ty Domi. Ty Domi. Um, but what I was going to ask you, was there, you know, we taught you the movie goon. We, we all laugh at the, did some of that have something to do with with you as far as like kind of that storyline? Oh, that whole that whole thing, man, is like yeah. Is, yeah I mean, I, I I at first when I first seen it, I was like pissed and I was mad at Doug's, you know, but Doug's actually a great guy. He had nothing to do with it. It was all Hollywood because I had lawyers trying to look into it. You can't touch him, you know what I mean? But if you right. look at that and you watch that movie, you watched it. That yeah. Mayos guy, long hair, had his wrist taped up, dude, in Newfoundland. Who the fuck are you? Are you fucking kidding me? Like anybody that knows hockey knows right. that that was me. You know what I mean? Like yeah, that, and, <clears throat> yeah. It was. Did you was, you yeah. fought? Did you fight? Did you like the, uh, what kind of that story? Did you fight the cop that he got finally called up and you busted yeah, him no, up? Well, that, so what? Yeah. So what happened was we had Crawford as a coach and and Kevin McCollin that played with him in Newfoundland the year before. He was in Moncton. And Mac and me were warming up. So we were buddies. He, Mac's a great guy. I love him, man. And um, we're warming up. He's like, hey, Frankie. He goes, they got this fucking idiot from fucking some cop from fucking Boston. And he's going to want to go everybody. You know, I, I don't know if he can skate. I don't know anything about him. But just be careful. And I'm like, ah, fuck him. You know what I mean? So Crow comes in the fucking dressing room. And he's like, no one's allowed to fight this guy. Because we had Bush. We had a tough team. Band yeah, Bush, you had Bush. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. mean, we had talk shit loaded that whole maritimes is crazy back then you know um so he's like no one's allowed to fight this guy and he looks at me especially you dumbass and i'm like oh fuck you and he so he benched me and i was like motherfucker so the blonde's out there you know and blonde would listen you know you, you remember billy always like frank oh, yeah. don't, don't do nothing but yeah okay. yeah okay <laughs> I just we've told that to we've go. told this before yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah don't do anything yeah. So, anyways, I go. You know, if I, I'm not getting played. I got benched because Crow didn't trust me at all. So Smythe goes out there. He smacks Blonde oh, J. Blonde J won't fight him. You know, because Crow he's scared of Crow. Then Bushy's out there, and Bushy wants to go him. He's just like biting his lip. You know what I mean? Yeah. And he's like, Nah. And this guy's just acting like a complete asshole. You know what I mean? So finally, Crow goes out. You go talk to him, but don't you dare fight. I'm like, Oh, oh okay. Yeah, you got it, man. I promise. Yeah. <laughs> So I go line Fingers up. And, yeah, and I go line up. And I mean, it's like, I stand in there and he comes up and he's like, Hey, you're going to give me a shot at the title? I'm like, Absolutely. <laughs> so the fuck drops and I just beat the shit out of him. You know, like I smashed his face, both eyes closed. When the fight was over, I let him go. 
because I could see the blood and all, like really bad damage. You know, he pulled his shirt over his face. So he skates off, and then Matt comes out the next period. He goes, man, did you fuck that guy up? You can't even see his face. And we're all laughing, right? Eh? And that was the end of fucking, you know. It, in the movie, don't they show a real clip from him, like, leaving the ice in oh, that, yeah, yeah, in the yeah. old barn? Like, And I'm like, yeah. I, I remember I was with still with the team, and we went as a team to watch that in Edmonton. So, Frankie, so, you, so you're in St. John's. You get called up. Mm -hmm. Um and you're you're playing, uh, you, you know, you're playing against Twist and, and uh, Domi or whatever. Mm -hmm. you, you played three games up there. What are you thinking? Like, oh boy, like this is. Oh no, I was, I did. I remember, like, I I I started because, um, like, my first shift, I actually thought I was fucking dangling. I thought I had all my shit together. <laughs> <laughs> fucking yeah, stupid. Yeah. So I lost the puck in my fucking feet and uh, Willanin came across and hit me man with a shoulder right in the face fuck smoke me man broke <laughs> broke my fucking nose i was no like way. Oh, no way I, I get right up and i'm bleeding and i'm fucking go right after him man i'm like come on you motherfucker i'm gonna kill you so i'm like you know and he no 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 and then uh, someone stepped in to say something and I, I grabbed him and he's like i'm not fighting you go to the bench and fix your face and i'm like fuck you man so i went and lined up and i was lined up beside someone i'm like you want i, I can't remember who it was it was one of the other quebec's tough guys you know what i mean i'm like you want to go it's like i ain't going you man <laughs> so i played the whole shift bled all over myself i went to the fucking sitting on the bench and uh i can't remember the kid's name that was our medical guy he comes over at the prongs up my nose straight my nose out. i look like fucking lion king you know what i mean <laughs> so I'm like sitting on the bench and I'm uh, they put some gauze up there and uh, Burns is like, Frankie, you OK? I'm like, oh, yeah, man. Throws me back out there. I'm skating around there. I'm in front of the net. I almost fucking scored. And then all oh. I see is a big paw on my fucking shoulder and spun me around. I look, it's Twister. Fuck, my gloves go fly. My gloves go flying off. I'm like, yeah. oh, motherfucker. And he's like. And we went. It was like, I didn't give a two. I, I couldn't care less. You know that. You break yeah. my nose. Oh, yeah. Oh. yeah. Yeah. yeah, man. Yeah, I, I think I think you, you you tagged him towards the end there, and you maybe almost made him submit a little bit. Is what it looked oh, like. Oh yeah, no, he actually like I love twists. He's like you know, but they, we were going toe to toe. We were throwing some heat. And I cracked yep. him. I got him good. Yeah, and he, he shut did. the mill down. He grabbed on, and the refs were like, "Are are you done?" I'm like, "No, man. Keep let's go, let's go." And he's he like, was I'm done. Done. "He said it. I'm done." And he patted me on the ass. He's like, "Fuck, good job, kid." He that goes, was awesome. That was a good tell, yeah, man. He because he looked like he hit you a couple of good ones early. Maybe it more of your helmet than anything, but you yeah. actually tagged him with a partial uppercut or whatever it was in there. Yeah. You could tell it neutral. Oh, yeah, he, he was yeah. legit, man. That was, yeah. that was good stuff. Uh, so, yeah. so you you make your way uh, into Philly. Uh, yeah. Flyers grab you, and uh, the Phantoms we have that year. I have never seen well of course i haven't been everywhere but you had a damn billboard in philadelphia bro oh that like, was funny in the minors in the minors i mean uh, american hockey league and we're in a city right. you know with an nhl team now mm. there were flyer billboards this is before oh, the yeah. billboards change as you're driving yeah. you know all fancy this was a billboard with the animal <laughs> on it with frankie it was amazing <laughs> but you we, I mean, <clears throat> we had a good team. Like I said, we had a really good hockey team and it was great for, because so many blue collar people, obviously in, right. in, in Philadelphia and everything. And, and you can't afford you, even back then, you know, the, the, yeah. it's, it's just an expensive night. And it was, it's just great for, for families that couldn't quite afford to have season tickets there. I mean, that first year when we have six, we averaged like 16,000. Oh game. yeah. But remember, the average was like, you remember crazy. how it, you remember how it started, man? The first, remember the first game? Uh, Billy started all the idiots. We're all yeah. standing out there, and I was like, and we had like what twenty five hundred people, maybe two thousand in that building. Nothing. Yeah. We had nobody. Yeah. And I was sitting on the fucking blue line. I'll never forget it because I was talking to myself. I always used to. You remember that? Yeah. A couple yeah. Of smelling salts in the nose. Get all oh. on the fuck up. Yeah. Yeah. And then so I'm standing on the blue line, and I'm like, look at this fucking shit. They put me in hell. I really because I didn't know. You know, I was like, yeah, fuck, you're gonna play in this big building with no fucking fans. This fucking blows. I said, I was like, I'm out of here. I remember my first shift. I think I grabbed that web shape, whatever it was. Shane, what was his name? Oh, Webby. Okay. Uh, he works Webby. Yeah. Steve yeah, Webb. Steve, Steve Webb. That's it. Steve Webb. Yeah. And I, I, yeah. He, I lined up beside him. I'm like, when fucking puck drops, I'm going to kill you, motherfucker. And he's like, no, no. Fuck drop, man. I was fucking punching him. He was skating the other direction. I had him by the back of the shirt. <laughs> I was punching him in the back of the fucking head. <laughs> I'm like, 
and our whole team's like looking and i got back and i remember billy saying something i'm like you know what man i'm just gonna fuck everyone and those two thousand people went eat shit yeah so i was like yeah i'm just gonna fuck everyone up man i'm gonna just and we started a cult following and it, it yep. was the truth that's what that was that i, I exactly remember right. that first home game we uh holy what's up he <laughs> right. said what's up um so i i remember that uh that game, we were winning our first home game. We were winning two to one. Riles, I may have told you this. And you know where the camera, the, the holes in the glass are for the cameraman? So yeah. they're they're like along the glass. And Sean McCosh, I'll never forget after the game, we're up two to one, right? We, we want to win the game, like, obviously. So he's <laughs> going to take a face off. And one of the fans yells through the thing. We secured the win. Now let's beat the shit out of them. It's two to one with like a minute and a half to go in the game. And Kosher's thinking like, where am I? <laughs> this is, you know, Philly, but they, you know, they wanted, well, because of these guys started chucking them. And then next thing you know, our attendance is through the roof. And, yeah. and uh, I, I never forget, like you just said, Billy, it used to make us all laugh because the whole place is literally chanting Frankie or animal animal. One of the two would, would, they would switch it up all the time, but there would be 12 seconds ago game. We, we beat I mean, that first year we won almost we won 49 games. Like we, yeah. we beat everybody. Um, Hershey upset us in the playoffs that year, <clears throat> came back three, one down. But anyway, uh, Billy would be like, uh, all right, Frank, because they're just chanting his name and he's just got smoke coming out of his <laughs> nose and his ears. And, you know, he's just like this. And he's already beat somebody. Nobody even wants to fight him. Yeah, like, right. And uh, he'd be like, <laughs> Billy'd be like, get out there, Frank, but don't do anything stupid. And everybody would be just like, oh, yeah, okay. So as soon as he <laughs> gets on the ice, everyone in the building stands up because they know something's, something's going uh, down, oh. but uh, it used to make me laugh because Billy, get get out there, Frank, but don't do anything. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> dude, no, yeah, that was we'll talk to him, but don't thing. fight him. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah, nah, just just go skate around. And yeah. <laughs> I there was a there was one night. Um, <clears throat> I'll never forget Frankie. Uh, uh, the late. Uh, oh my God, my mind's going blank now. Um, Sasha Lakovic, I apologize, Sasha. Oh. Uh, Poor um, Sash, man. Yeah, good, kid, yeah, yeah. good dude. Um, he was tough, and yeah. everybody knew who he was. And we're playing Albany, and he—I'm not saying he was afraid of Frank, but they just—he just, just kind of stayed away. And I don't know if Frank and him got played, saw each other a lot on the ice, but obviously Sasha knew Frank he was there. But it was the biggest set of balls I've ever seen on a guy. We had a kid named Jeff Staples on our team who was a, who was a tough kid who fought a lot yes. for the team. Um, you know, not like he wasn't a heavyweight, but he did try to fight heavyweights and he oh, yeah, stood his dude. ground. He was a tough, tough guy. And uh, everybody Major. loves Staples, but he had fought Sasha a few times and Sasha got a, a really the upper hand every time. Um, so we're playing Albany in the spectrum and, Stapes gives Sasha a whack, try to get something going and plays dead, blown dead. And Stapes whacks him. He wants to go. Now you got to give Stapes credit because this guy had oh, pumped yeah. him about three or four times. <laughs> so <laughs> Sasha Lakovic is kind of like right near our bench, takes a couple strides and he looks at Billy and he says, I want him and points at Frank, which I almost crapped in my peg. I'm like, what? He goes, I want him. Or no, he goes first. I shit kick this guy every time we play you guys. I want him or nobody. And Billy goes, All right, Frank, <laughs> taps him. Frankie jumps sure, over. Silver platter. So everybody's like, Oh boy. So drop the puck. Frank's first punch hits uh, Sasha right in the head, dropped him, didn't knock him out, but drop. You would have knocked anybody else I've ever seen you hit like that out. But just his feet like went flying up in the air and he went straight down. He did get up, but the. Frank had kind of already let go because he dropped him. But I'll never forget Sasha saying that. I want no, him or nobody. Classic. And I thought, buddy, what oh. are you asking for? And another one that comes to mind that I believe his name was Dean Zayance in Carolina. Oh, Christ. Dude. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Riles, we're in Carolina. Uh, Kevin Weeks was the goalie. They were the Florida Panthers uh, affiliate at the time. And this guy, Dean Zayance, the only reason I remember this guy was because because of Frank. I'll never forget his name. Anyway, he's trying to stay up in the American League. He'd gotten called up for the weekend against us. 
we won Friday night, eight, nothing, uh, killed them. And we're now we're playing some, we had Saturday off, which wasn't a good thing for the Philadelphia <laughs> fan on screw. <laughs> it was two hard nights, of, but these guys were good at playing guilty. So we played them Sunday <laughs> afternoon. I got like more of my friends are in the building than anyone. There's like a thousand people in there. And I got about 25 guys right behind our bench. So anyway, we're now we're up seven to one. It's third period, four minutes to go in the game. And Dean Zayance is asking Frank, Frankie to go. Frankie's like, buddy, it's like <laughs> seven to one. Like, come on, man. And he's like, wax Frank. Frank goes, hey, fuck, you know, fuck off. And he's like, wax. He goes, come on, man. I need it. I want to stay up. Well, he stayed up all right because <laughs> he says – he whacks him again, and Frank's goes. The eyes start going. Oh, you yeah. want to? You want to dance with Big Daddy? <laughs> he says, "Yeah." Frankie grabs him right here, misses with the first one. Second one hits him. Riles. I mean, that perfect punch. Yeah. This guy goes down, and you hear pop. Oh. All his weight lands, breaks his leg, <laughs> right, right in half. Frankie's holding him up. The guy's out. He's like this. Oh, Frankie's <laughs> holding him and going like this. Tell him they got to come in. And we're just like, well, you're going to stay up because you're injured. <laughs> yeah, yeah, gonna, I mean, yeah. it was, it was gross. And, and, you know, like even Frank's like kind of worried for the guy. Like, oh, yeah. Broke oh, his so compound good. fracture. Oh, Frankie's God. holding him up by one arm. And my, I turn around and look at my friends and they're all going, Woo! Doing the bell. This poor guy is knocked out cold. And his leg snapped in half. I'm like, guys, sit down, sit down. Oh, but, man. oh I'll never forget that, man. Jeez. Oh, that is classic. It was crazy. We had some good ones with Caroline. You remember that other little skinny kid that they had that one time, nasty? I can't remember. I think it was like Montreal or something like that. The uh, French kid, wasn't he? Was I he think French? so. Yeah, he, yeah. We believe- fought the first time, and I slipped, and you were busting my balls. You're like, "Oh, he got." It. I slipped. Oh. I think I. Yeah, but then remember we were in the box, and I was like, "Oh yeah, man, you did good." I was like talking over the box, <laughs> like you did great, man. I think you got. You're the, you're the heavyweight champ. I said, "I think you could do it again." I totally talked to him. We got out of the box. Remember, I think I I missed his face. I punched him in the collarbone, broke his fucking. He broke collarbone. his collarbone. He sure did. Yeah. I'll never yeah. forget that. He yeah. was like. Bro- this well, Frank oh, didn't shit. stop. Then he caught yeah. him a couple times. <laughs> I'll never forget. Frankie back then it was like UFC. You did they you knock a guy out, guys kept punching. Well, Frank oh, yeah. did. Literally, I remember Frankie the one time you were like almost jumping up and down, backhammering this guy. And uh there was a former there was a linesman back in the day, oh, God bless him, yeah. Mike Condon. Uh, he passed away. Great guy. He was yeah. one of the best lineies, man. I mean, yeah. the players loved him, respected yeah. him. Um, Frankie got in a tilt, and he basically – the guy was basically kind of out but didn't go all the way down, so Frankie's finishing him off, right? So poor Mike comes jumping in. Next thing you know, he catches one of Frank's oh, right yeah. down. Our Dude, our medical oh, guy, Cat, oh. uh, Cat had to go across 10 10- – <laughs> the lines, but he's knocked out. He wow. goes, he gets him into the penalty box. He puts Mike into the penalty box, and Mike goes, I'm getting too old for this shit, man. <laughs> I don't even think he knew Frank hit him at that point. You know, no, he, he didn't need to, but I'll never, you know, you know who that was, Jesse? That was that little prick Banica. Remember how he used to drive me fucking Bannica, that's exactly who Dude, it was. Like Corey Banica. And, and then so Max Simon with Jason Simon was on ice. And Mac fucking grabbed Simon, so I had no one to grab. And I looked around, and I was like, and I, and I remember, because Banica tried to get away, and I was like, oh, today's not your day, motherfucker. He was one of those guys that deserved it, Riles. Oh, dude. dude he yeah. was, he was an effective little He was an effective oh, little yeah. player, though, man. He, he yeah. did his job. He kind of reminds me of, like, an American League version of, like, a clutterbuck. Dude, that's like, like a the fucking way, Barnaby, man. Him, yeah, him, yeah, yeah, kind, yeah, maybe more like that. Yeah, yeah probably dude, not as is, good of a player. But he played, no, you know, he won the Memorial Cup with uh, Big E. He played yeah. with Eric Lindros. Uh, oh, junior. okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but him and Barnaby, I hate them two fuckers the most. They're like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Running their mouth and picking Oh, them. God. I never forget Barnaby. Remember that one D with Barnaby in Rochester? We're skating around, warm up, and skating around, skating around. He's like, I'm, I got you, man. And I was like, what? I'm like, who the fuck are you? You know what I mean? A little skinny rat motherfucker. You know what I mean? So we skating around. He's like, I got you, big boy. I'm going to tune you up. Skate around again. 
I fucking suckered him. I couldn't help it anymore. Rain warm ups. <laughs> Rain warm up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh man oh, there's, yeah, there's so have, many we can we can oh, to do that frankie 2.0 man i i mean Ooh. for sure like it's 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 crazy Nas, man Nas, do you remember what you about talking about billy you remember the one time i was sitting on the bench and a fucker benched me for the whole game and then we're, i can't remember who we were playing i think it might have been roch too rasmussen that's yeah you remember that rasmussen kid? yeah and Billy was right behind me the whole fucking game. Bah, 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 bah. Someone get that fucker. He's just embarrassing us. At, but I'm bent. So I can't even do nothing. And he had me so fucking riled up that I remember I jumped over the boards and, and he was that Rasmussen was coming across the ice and I swung at him. Yep. I would have, yeah, the fucking 20,000 people. I'll never forget that. Oh my God. <laughs> and I fucking spun around, hit my head on the boards on the other side of the race. I was like, <laughs> fuck. If I would have hit that kid, man, there would have been no head left. Oh no, he would have come off his body for sure. <laughs> <laughs> he swung so hard. <laughs> and Billy was like, "I what did I get? I got suspended for like two or three games." And I remember going in the room. I was skating off through the bench, and Billy's like, "What in the fuck are you doing?" I, was, I got sick and tired of listening to your shit, you motherfucker. You're in my ear all fucking night. Uh, <laughs> oh man. Uh, hey, uh, talking, we're uh, talking about the popularity. <clears throat> I mean, you were. You, you were perfect riles too for the city of Philadelphia, you know, how they love the hard nosed workers and, and, and the tough guys. And, um, but you were, you were so popular. I was telling Riley one night, I, you may have been suspended, uh, or you may have been hurt. I don't know what it was, but probably suspended. Uh, uh, they had animal night, they had the oh, animal night and that. they had you, they had a great, we'll, we'll, we'll put it up, but they had a, they, they oh, you're on the cover of the magazine again, again. And, it was with the, the snake around you. And yeah. so they were selling those. So in between the first and second period, Frank, uh, Frankie by would be signing these. So go in after the first period, whatever, you know, the 15 minutes come back out. The arena's damn near empty. There was a line <laughs> that went all the way around the concourse to get his autograph. I swear to God, we played the second period with a thousand people in the stands. Like everyone was like, it was amazing. I remember you saying, Oh, never doing that again. I, I, I signed my name. Oh, Bill, like, Billy, Billy was pissed. Too. Oh, he, he was, was mad. Like, yeah. yeah. He, he that was, was, our, was that mad. Was our boy, that was our boy, Bogues. He was blowing his head guy. up. You're going to blow his head up. He's not going to want to play. You know, like he <laughs> thinks he's too good now. You know, like, but uh, that was just Billy being Billy. He was awesome. Oh, that, Billy was, Billy was the best man. I remember having conversations with them with the first, with my first ex wife. And he'd be like, You got to go home, son. I'm like, Here's the keys. You go there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, you take care of her. You live there. I'll go. I'll stay where I'm at. <laughs> Speaking of your first wife, um, man, your wedding pictures were nice. Oh yeah, that was pretty. Yeah, yeah. tell Riggs about that one. Oh, you two black one, eyes. <laughs> no, I don't think so. Ah, oh, dude, we were all shit faced, and I was getting married. And then we, oh, Bushy was there. The kid Mike James. Uh, like you know, we had a big crew. And we had my, my, my uncle Rick. Like you know, just all killers. You know, I'm hammered. And my uncle Rick's carrying me out of the bar. We were at that one, you know, uh, right on Market Street there, Riles. What was it? The real, yeah, like the, the good club in Winnipeg. And I'm getting carried out by my uncle's shoulder. And we get to the front steps and he puts me down and smacks me across the face. I'm like, what the fuck are you doing, man? And he's like, your buddies are getting killed, man. We got to go help them. So I'm like, all right, fuck. All right. So I go running in and the kid's pinned against the wall. And I grab this kid, start beating the shit out of him. My uncle grabs, Bushy grabs a couple guys. And we're, we don't, there's no end to these motherfuckers. It's like ants, you know what I mean? <laughs> so I got this prick and I grab him by his pants and his sting. And I ram his head through a taxi window and his feet are dangling out. His friend goes running. I got him by the back of the hair. He's dragging me a little bit. I get him down. I'm beating the fuck out of him. And I got now I got these two assholes on the street and I'm punching them in the face, you know, like they're, they're pinned and I'm laughing. My uncle Rip looks over, he's like, he's okay. He's making sure I don't get, you know, tuned up because I'm, I'm getting married tomorrow. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I'm like, they're punching them, punching them. All of a sudden, all you hear is like, oh, you hit him with a sign. Like, like there was like 5,000 people watching this fucking thing. You know what I mean? And uh, my uncle looks over and he's like, oh, fuck. And all I remember is like, I'm laying on the ground. I got my face covered. So these pricks that I was beating up can't hit me. And I, the one, they were both on top of me now. And my uncle comes over and just all I see is teeth flying everywhere, man. My uncle kicked him in the fucking face, beat, you know, picks me up, 
so I was, okay, we gotta go to ambulance. So we walk it down the street, go to ambulance. I got like fucking, I think I got like a hundred stitches in my face, across my forehead, <laughs> eyes closed shut. So I show up at the church in the morning. I got like, well, I was at the hospital. My uncle Rick's like, your mom is going to fucking kill us. And I'm like, oh, God, don't even tell me. So now everyone's coming home. And my mom sees them bushy. There's blood all over them. Everyone's covered in blood. She's like, okay, where's the asshole? <laughs> They're like, oh, no one wanted to answer her. So she chucks it. My uncle called her. She gets to the hospital. She's ready to fucking kill us. She's going to hit me with a baseball bat. You know I mean? <laughs> yeah. So yeah. you got hit with a stop sign, didn't you, or stop. something? Yeah, yeah. Wow. And my, and my aunt says to me, "You don't think that's a warning?" <laughs> <laughs> stop, stop. In the face, <laughs> dude! I swear to fucking God, life's dude. giving you signs, right? Oh, Just ignore dude. them. That was a I, I sign, went, bro. <laughs> yeah, dude. And then I fucking go. Then I go in and the fucking I walk in and the priest is like looking at me and he's like. Maybe we postpone. I'm like, no, nah, just fucking do it, man. It's over with. Let's get this. I couldn't even put my fucking shoes on. I was missing fucking chunks out of my feet from kicking people in the face. I was like, it's fucking terrible. Cuts and scratch. I, I, dude, they cut a fucking ring off my finger that had teeth in it. Like, I, I, you know, yeah, they couldn't have wow. blocked it from hitting guy. Yeah, man. I was fucking Intense. guy at the emergency room's like, what the fuck happened? Uh, oh my god. Yeah, and oh. apparently my uncle, like that's how fucked up my family is. My big uncle was walking around like, I think you did that. You did it. You just grabbed people and you knocked. He must have knocked out about 30 people, they said. He's just walking down the street beating people oh up. Oh my god. Yeah, and apparently it was a bunch of army guys that were, you know, I don't know what happened. So it just oh, turned out wow. so I'm surprised quick. you were locked up then. <laughs> no, yeah, yes. I, I was a mess. I, I mean, I remember walking to ambulance, but my uncle's like, oh, I should not, your mom's going to fucking kill us, man. Because <laughs> we had people in from everywhere. You know, it was, it was crazy. Fuck. Wow. What a story. That's, crazy. That's intense, man. Yeah. Um, I was going to ask you, uh, you played what, two full seasons with the Phantoms, and then like the third season, you bounced around, uh, I think, Indianapolis Ice and. Maybe yeah. What, what, what happened there? I mean, after all the success, he'd won the Calder Cup, I think, the, the the year before, maybe? Nah. I, I mean, me personally, I just think there's a lot of, you know, animosity. D will tell you. Like, you know, like every time, we, you know, the Flyers got beat up or something stupid happened. You know what I mean? It was like a call up Frank, bring up Frank. You know what I mean? And I think and a lot. Just, that happened a lot. Yeah. It happened it, all the time. And I think it, the pressure, it, and, you know, I think Clark, he had shit on his shoulders and he didn't have intention. You know, I mean, you do I did I deserve a chance to go up? Hell yeah. You know, there's yeah, no right. question. Uh, yeah, I don't know what you know it's the hockey world, you know how it is, Riles. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But hey, shit happens, man. So I and you know, then I hurt my knee in the season before, you know, I was playing nasty seen it. I mean, fuck, Ooh. I had I had a scope on Wednesday and I played on Thursday, you know what I mean? And I yeah. fought. Yeah. <laughs> so I was, oh yeah. I used oh. to fight. Yeah, it was bad. I, I, he, think I, I would never say no, man. You know what I mean? Yeah. He, no, uh, no. Riles, I mean, <clears throat> all you all you got, like, he's not the first and not the last, but hockey players are definitely the toughest people I've ever been around. Um, but I, I'll never forget, we were in the Calder Cup finals uh, playing St. John, and uh, I watched. I knew Frankie was getting his knees. He had to get his knees drained every game. Like, that's how bad it was. And I actually decided to watch for some reason. I don't know why I did because it was I, I I hated seeing it. He was sitting there, it hurt, but they pulled this stuff out of his this fluid. And but he I, he was like it was painful, but then he's like, Oh my god, it feels so much better. Good to go, you yeah. know, getting it up. But but I mean, bro, it was oh, yeah. so much, it was yellowy, yeah, it, like it was just yeah, like ABCs every oh every one. That's a ton, eh? dude. Jeez. It was unbelievable. But I'll, I'll tell you this, Riles. <clears throat> I'm like uh, a big show of respect uh, for Frank. I'll never forget this, and I had never seen this, and I don't think I ever did again, except for the time Marty Biron was trying to be Don King with you in uh, <laughs> in Atlanta that time, uh, Riles. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> with his buddy there. But cool. um, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm uh, the player skated is before game one and we had our morning skate and all the boys took, boys off, took off and uh, <clears throat> I'm like sharpening some skates and like straightening up. Anyway, we're playing game one of the finals morning skate guys take off, go home, take their nap, eat their lunch and all that stuff. So I'm sharpening some skates, getting ready uh, for the guys to get back. 
and there's a knock on my door, uh, the equipment side, and I go and answer it, and it's Rocky Thompson. And I, he is when he had the hair, he was just coming into the league. And I'm like, oh, man, I don't know him at all, but he's like, hey, is, um, is the animal here? And I'm like, you didn't even call him Frankie. He's like, is, is the animal here? And I said, no, nah, buddy. And I'm thinking, oh, maybe they're buddies, you know, from maybe they know each other somehow. And he's and I said, no, nah, man, I said he uh, he took off. Every, you know, all the guys left. And and he says, um, OK, if, if could you ask him if he would please uh, maybe give me a chance tonight? And I'm like, <laughs> yeah, he goes, you'll ask him. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'll ask him. And then he says, OK, thank you very much. And he turns around, and walks in. Last thing I want to do is go up to Frankie before game one of a finals and be like, hey, this guy said, hey, you want to go? Like, because I could even imagine what you guys think. You know, I know how hard of a job that is. But I told Francois when he got there and Frankie closed his eye. And he couldn't play in game two, if I'm correct. Frankie, yeah. had, he pumped him really good. And we go to St. John's for game three. Rocky's back in the lineup. And I thought it was so cool because these two get out there. Like Billy puts the line out. So they answer and they put Rocky out. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> the, the guy doing the music and everything does the bell oh. and everything. Oh, yeah. and Frankie got the better of him again. And then game six, when we won the cup, they fought. It was more of an even match. I'd say uh, Frankie didn't, totally kill him but it was a, it was a good he fight was hanging, he was hanging on for dear life doing the body shots yeah, I was laughing. Yeah, I'm like, Rocky, yeah you gotta throw something bad he's like yeah no i'm good i'm hanging on <laughs> but uh it, it was pretty amazing to you know have three fights in a final I mean, yeah i know, I know that, right we're, we're, never... we're going back to 96 97 but or yeah. 97 98 but still it was you know that that's was, impressive yeah that, it was yeah it was impressive yeah. but the the amount of respect that he had for you i thought it was really cool oh um, yeah he i was, remember he, getting Nasty, I got a phone call from my mom. She's like, what are you going to do about Rocky? I'm like, fuck him. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, who the fuck is Rocky? We never played him yet. You know what I mean? I guess yeah. he, he's tough becoming. He's tough too. Yeah, he was making yeah, a really yeah. good name for himself. Like, oh, he was, yeah. He, he was, was tuning up. Yeah, he's a, a gamer. Lot, man. Yeah, he yeah. was. And God, he, his whole career, man. I mean, I, I remember him being in Louisville and, and playing with Brent Thompson, those two, those two knuckleheads back. <laughs> Hell, God. Did you end up playing with Rocky? Uh, no, Hershey? I never. I never. No, I never. Oh, you didn't. Oh, okay. Uh, now, you're talking mean, about like, something weird. Was you playing for Hershey against oh, yeah, us? That was, that like was yeah. just yeah. looking at there, Frankie yeah. over there. It's just like what? Like <laughs> it was. It was crazy. Man. Yeah. Well, well, we never really had any issues. Only that one time when I fought the Lasard kid or whatever, I was pissed at Billy. Remember? Oh, <laughs> Frankie like, Lasard. Yeah. Oh boy, he was a beauty too. Frankie. Yeah. So who taught he comes to me, Frankie? Frankie, he comes up to me. His first, uh, he was a tough, he was a tough, yeah. SMT, uh, oh, yeah. Um, uh, but fr uh, Frankie comes up to me, you know, his English was it was he was still learning, but he, I'll never forget game one, he comes up with the sheets, you know, like with the names and everything. He goes, Who tough? <laughs> who tough? He wanted me to tell him on the who on the other team was tough, you know, it was like the very first game. So there's no penalty minutes, you know, for, uh, for that season. Right, so he's right. like, he says, who tough, nasty, who tough? And I'm like, that guy's <laughs> tough. That guy's like, okay. <laughs> right out there. <laughs> all laughs, you know, like all laughs, but, uh, uh, but that's funny. Yeah. Um, so you, you wrapped up in in Hershey as, as far as your American League uh, career went, and then and then you paused the the hockey career for what four or five years. Yeah, I mean, pretty much. I was done. You know I mean, yeah. then I just, I went out like like I said, an opportunity to go fight and you know box and kind of miss being a violent prick. You know what I mean? So. Yeah, so they would uh, fly you up to the Quebec League there and oh yeah, pay you some cash and. A couple of tillies later, you know, anyway. Oh, back. that's it. I, I'll never forget when I was up there. They're like, "Do you want to play?" I'm like, "No." My <laughs> <laughs> legs will seize I up. I just go out and fucking fight, man. I haven't skated that much. Yeah, I haven't skated that much. I don't want to even attempt this shit. Like, let's just do. I know what I'm here for, Frankie. Fight, it's you know? it's too it's too bad that you did come along a little bit later because over in Russia, if he yeah. we're talking to Gratz. He could right. have played for that owner. Oh, yeah. Dude, you would have made millions playing in just hockey. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, that guy's crazy, but that's another story for different Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, I, missed, I missed a bunch of errors, man. I wish you'd yeah. have been in the. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> you, you were in a good one, though, man. You, you oh, were, dude. That was the best time of my life. I got friends like you, Cat. You know what I mean? Yeah. Fuck. You couldn't ask for. 
it was like a blessing, you know, and that's why I live here. It's just, you know, yeah. the people here, my friends, like, I mean, yeah, you, you thank God every day for that shit. You can, yeah. you can buy it if you want it. You know what I mean? If I, if I would have said, you know, where I came from and what I did to be in the position that I'm in, I'd say there's not a chance in hell. You know what I mean? Right. Like, I'm blessed, man. You know, yes. someone's looking. Someone's looking after my story. Well, ass. you're a you're a hard you're a hard worker. You're a hard worker, man. Yeah. Very very hard worker. You got man. a big heart. It's as crazy as uh, the stories are, and the uh, people wrap their head around them. You know, you are you are a really solid dude. And he said earlier, give the shirt off your back, man. Absolutely, There's no question. Real quick, Frank. I know we've had you tied up here for a while. Uh, you 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 did a you you're a professional boxer. You had two fights. Your first one. I thought this was the craziest thing. I'm out in Arizona in January, uh, oh. a golf tournament with my good friend, uh, Grant Garcia, who took care of me and took me out there. And one of his big clients is this guy. We're going to meet him. Oh, like, cool, man. Come up to the bar. This dude's cool as hell. Chit chatting with him. Um, Jared Vasquez is his name. So talked to him, tell me a little bit about himself and he said, yeah, I lived in Philly for about seven years, blah, blah, blah. He's like, uh, yeah, you ever uh, you ever see, see the team like uh, heard of the team the Philadelphia Phantoms? I'm like, well, yeah, I worked for them for nine years. I said I worked for the Flyers for 25 years, and he's like, oh, oh, okay, okay, you're all oh, that, you're nasty, you know. Like right when I first met him, I'm like, yeah. So he goes, oh, you you ever uh, you ever meet a guy named Frankie By Lois? And I'm like, <laughs> he's one of my best buddies. Yeah, I know him. He goes, I was a guy beat up in 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 Philly, and I went, what do you mean beat up in Philly? Oh, prospectors. <laughs> yeah, at the bar, <laughs> we we won't go there. We won't go there. No. But, uh, but he, he goes, no. In the spectrum, I fu- I boxed him, and I was like, that was you. He goes, yeah. I'm like, we got to call Frank. So oh, I call yeah, Frank. Uh, I said, guess who I'm sitting with? And I tell him, he goes, no way. So they get on the phone. Now he's on my phone for a half hour. These two are catching up. No shit. Man, eh? What a small world, Dude. man. And, I was uh, at that fight. Yeah, oh, yeah. Was, yeah was Riggs was there. Shit. That's right. Yeah, that's good that, shit. That's some hard. That's some hard shit, Riley. Oh man, man I like, fuck you. Me, a lot of credit you for that. Get, yeah, you got to get your hands on the fucker. You know, if I that's what I said even in the second fight when I lost, I was like, I'll go outside with that motherfucker right now, and I guarantee you, I don't lose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a different animal, right? <laughs> yeah, it's a whole there. different animal. Yeah, uh, they're, they're trained. I, I I learned a whole new respect for it. I'll tell you that, man. I mean, like like I said, you know, you got the Floyds. The they, those fuckers can move, man. Yeah, they just oh, don't yeah. get hit, right? I mean, you're yeah, you can't, dude. It's like they smell your shit coming. You know what I mean? Yeah. You, you know me, I'm like a guided missile. I got to have one hand <laughs> on, dude, and fucking other one following. <laughs> oh, oh man, beautiful. Right on, Frankie. Right. Well. Awesome. I'm glad you guys are doing good, man. It's fucking awesome. And yeah, thanks for having too, me man. on. It's great to oh, see dude. you. We'll have to yeah. bring you back on for a Frankie 2.0. Yeah, we gotta oh, we gotta dude. bring you into the studio. That's what we tell everybody. Oh, we gotta bring you into the studio, but uh, we do appreciate your time, buddy. And love you to yeah. death, man. You know, you're yeah. one of my best buddies and Always, just a man. just a great guy, one of the toughest SOBs in Philly. It's too bad you it's... never they never really gave you a shot with the flyboys, but they knew if they Called you up, you weren't going back. Never going back. They, yeah, yeah, you'd have put the Phantoms out of business. The attendance, yeah. would, they would have been in Adirondack quicker. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> you imagine, you, nasty, imagine that first game. Hey, like, oh, oh fuck. I hey, have like four Roger, up Poor Roger mind. Nielsen, God rest him. Yeah, I, I remember him saying to the media, yeah, we might, uh, we might call that uh, animal guy up. <laughs> he didn't even know his name. He calls him the animal guy. <laughs> a Muppet or something. I'm like, Raj. Yeah, well, we we carried uh, the animal. <laughs> we carried the Muppet thing. It was always in Frankie's stall. We took oh, it. Oh, no sure. yeah. yeah, had it everywhere. It was always oh, in the stall. Uh, it was priceless. Yeah, man. Best times uh, ever, man. Best part of my life, I got to yeah, say, man. It was so, great. It was great. Yeah. So, but anyway, thank you, brother, man. Yeah, no, thank you, you guys. Yeah. I really appreciate it. I'm glad you guys are doing good. Like Thanks. I said, man, God bless. Hopefully, you got to get rid of that spit and shake lips and then it's all nasty <laughs> knuckles now. <laughs> Fuck those guys. They're, they're, they're our buddies, man. They're our I buddies. Know, they're but yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good dudes, oh, man. hey, nasty. One last thing. My brother sent me the, I got to send it to you, you know, so you have it on. So, fucking Jamie McClellan, you know, the, the goalie with the, yeah. Oh, but yeah. So he, he's on the commentator and fucking, um, I got to send you the clip. He's doing commentating in Calgary. My brother sent me this because they videoed it, him and his buddies. You know what I mean? Yeah. So Jamie's on there doing the collar and shit like that. And they're talking about the East Coast, how it's a develop, developmental league and shit like that, right? 
And he goes, yeah. He goes, you know, it's not the same league that when I played. He goes, fuck, when I played, we were playing. He goes, they, they, this fucking, this team had this Frank the Animal. He goes, the other guy's like, oh, yeah, we all know him real good. He goes, <laughs> he goes he goes, everyone was scared of that motherfucker, even his own teammate. <laughs> his own teammate. <laughs> and this is on fucking Hockey Night Canada. Oh, I no way. I would be like, dude, I love it. Oh, we got to find okay, that clip. That. Riles, have you ever, have you ever met uh, Frankie's brother? No. So not. I met, oh. I met, I met Chris when he was obviously oh, years ago, he was a kid. He was yeah. a skinny little kid. You know, he wasn't too tall yet. This guy is like six five, <laughs> like just jacked. I, I called him the worm. Like Dennis Rodman, I I, I nicknamed him. I always said, the "Hey, worm, how's, the, yeah. how's the worm doing?" Because he was a skinny. He was getting taller, skinny. Then next thing I know, I see him six years later, and this guy's like <laughs> out of his mind. I'm like, "Good God, man! What happened to the little worm?" <gasps> oh, oh, but anyway, classic. thanks again, Francois. No problem, guys. Yeah, Thank man. you, man. All right. All right, brother. We'll Talk see you to soon. That episode was brought to you by SettleMyerSkateSharpening.com. For all your hockey and skate sharpening needs, visit Nasty in his shop or at SettleMyerSkateSharpening.com. Also, BodyCheckWellness.com for all your hemp-derived CBD and functional mushroom needs. Check it out at BodyCheckWellness.com. And a big thank you to... Frank, the animal by Lois. What my a beauty. stomach is still hurting from laughing what so a, hard. What oh, my God. Absolute legend. Uh, <laughs> I haven't laughed that hard in, in a long time, man. Listen, uh, I, and, you know, we went on for a while with him. I'm telling you, and Riles, you know this, and, and people that do know him, there's a hundred more stories. Oh, yeah. especially Especially hockey-related. Um, he got into some... <laughs> other than hockey things, but it's just what makes Frankie Frankie. He's just, uh, he's the best man. Yeah, man. God, he was a tough, 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 tough guy, man. Yeah. Uh, he was feared. He was feared for, for a while. Nobody wanted to mess with that guy. Um, well, I guess I, not. Some of those stories, man, and just grabbing guys and start punching them in the face with oh, <laughs> for no good reason. <laughs> no, yeah, no good reason. <laughs> yeah, this guy's just trying to skate wanted, away. Just because he wanted to. I, I know we talked about it during the show, but, I, I tell you, man, I used to laugh so hard when, when, when Billy would tell him to get out there, you know, but don't do anything. Don't do anything. Like yeah. this guy's got more testosterone pumping through his body from, from juicing and, and everyone in the building gelling his name and don't do anything stupid, Frank. Okay. what do he say? I promise I won't. <laughs> oh, oh he, he was great, man. God, he was great. Yeah. Uh, I really wish he would have got a shot with the big. Oh boy man, I can't believe it. for all the work he oh, put in and all, all the excitement he brought to the city to not give him one game. Like, I know, I just cannot for the life of me uh, understand that. But uh, obviously, there was some behind the scenes politics, yeah. some sort of conversations that were had. But yeah, I can't believe that. But nonetheless, he's still a legend. He and, is. He and is. And I'll tell you what. Very, very successful businessman. Uh, gets his hands dirty, though. He's right in the middle of it. He works. Man, that guy works hard. God, he works from, like, time the sun comes up till it goes down normally. We were lucky with the heat that he had to cut it uh, work short yesterday so we could get him at a decent time. <laughs> yeah, right. Because he's so damn busy. <clears throat> but uh, seriously, lots of thanks to Frank, man. He's the man. That was, that was just a great episode. Yeah, I look forward to doing uh, Frankie. 2.0 we gotta we, do we, we gotta do we gotta take some we, of these guys uh we gotta do things with him man yeah man because that's a whole nother league of uh of storytelling oh my god he's amazing but uh yeah man awesome francois you're the man we yeah. appreciate it appreciate you hopping on and that is a wrap for episode 36 tune in next week for episode 37 knuckleheads until then Enjoy the week and have some fun. See you, knuckleheads.